Hey, good morning. Welcome to Nearest Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. I'm going to open up two more buckets from a uh, hoarder house that uh, when I was working for the company that cleaned out hoarder houses, he was a prepper and he packed himself. I did not pack these, but he did a very good job on the uh, prior buckets where he packed oats and cornmeal that were fresh as daisies and uh, the chickens loved both of them. So now my curiosity has peaked and I want to open up, as you can see, flour packed 814, 1998, white sugar, 814, 1998. And this gentleman, he spent a lot of money, a lot of money on preparation packing and he did it correctly mylar mylar bags oxygen absorbers sealed buckets and let me tell you something on amazon these bucket openers these plastic they cost like five bucks or something like that as you can see the result these things are garbage all right so if you're looking for bucket openers and uh, you see these five for whatever ten dollars you see the results of them. I went through all of them, and they're garbage. They break easily. So, now, I went to the heavy-duty aluminum, and uh, no problems whatsoever. To open up these buckets, I used just a handy-dandy screwdriver, broke the tabs all the way around, and believe me, it takes a little effort, and then used this, again from Amazon. Two of them, I think, were $17, but they are absolute heavy-duty bucket openers made in China but for this purpose of these videos I had to have it and then of course everybody should have their own pocket knife always so I did take pop the lid I have not opened the bag let's see what we can find this is the white sugar packet 814 1998 so I got that off so far so good Let's take a look at it. As you can see, my alarm bag is ironed, sealed shut. So I have uh, pretty good confidence in that. Let's see what we're looking at. Hang on a second, I'm sorry. Sorry. see how long sugar actually lasts well so far I see positive here is oxygen absorbers one now the sugar is hard two oxygen absorbers so I'm scraping the sugar you can see it for sure for yourself Oh yeah, that's good sugar. So now I have 50 pounds of white sugar. It is a little chunky. No bugs, no discoloration. Now that might be lighting, look like it's, but it's white. It is chunky, so it did not get wet. And this is packed from 1998. Perfectly good sugar. So congratulations to that gentleman. I don't know him, but he did follow the prepping law. Sealed Mylar bag, buckets, and oxygen absorbers. So now I have 50 pounds of sugar. I'm gonna put that back on there. Congratulations to him. And his loss is my gain. All right. Now, let's see what we have here. This is 814.98 flour. I did, again, pop the lid, as you can see. So he is following a perfect example of food preparation. Again, heavy-duty sealed mylar bag. 
Let me get my knife and see where we're at. Oh, I see, I see flower dust. Sorry for the camera movement. I know it's distracting to you. But what you see is what you get. Wow. Look at this. This is fresh. If you could smell it, you would say, yeah, somebody just opened a bag of flour. Fresh, fresh flour. Again, oxygen absorber. Fresh, white flour. No mealy bugs. Sorry for the shadows, but I'm doing this by myself. So again, what you see is what you get. No mealy bugs, no infestation of any kind. As you can see, it's flour, and believe me, if you ever dropped a bag of flour, opened it up fresh from the grocery store, and you get that wheat smell, this is exactly what it is. So congratulations again. Hands are all covered with flour. You can see this is good, and it is sealed properly. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with 50 pounds of flour. And you can see this gentleman here packed at 814.98. I brought it home. And you can see the outside of the bucket is rough condition. But this gentleman here did an excellent job in preserving food. And this is from 814.98, both these buckets. So now this dispels any rumors in my opinion, that flour goes sour after two years or decays and errors. I just proved to you that if you pack it correctly in sealed mylar bags with oxygen absorbers, flour, white flour, from 814 of 1998 is still perfectly good, perfectly fresh. And let me tell you something. You can smell the wheat and the open bag of flour. The sugar, although it compacted down, once you start chunking it up with a knife as I showed you, it is perfectly good sugar, sweet to the taste, no bugs in either one of these. And now I have all of this with confidence. Some of this I added myself. With confidence that I will have food to eat in case of an SHTF. And it's not if we're attacked, but a matter of when and how severe. You think about that and how are you prepared for your SHTF. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please like, share, give me the thumbs up, leave your comments. Share this information with all the other prepper networks. They're not getting it, they're not understanding it, and they're not seeing it. All right. Thank you. Greg out.